Miguel Cabrera, his 3,000th hit. Uh, what, a, what a day. What a moment. Um, Miguel Cabrera is a true legend. He is one of the greatest to ever do it. And on Saturday afternoon, I was able to watch him hit his 3,000th hit. I'm not afraid to admit it. I got emotional watching it. I got emotional. I have been around Miguel Cabrera a lot in my life. I, I grew up around that Tigers clubhouse. I got to know Miguel Cabrera at a young age. And uh, then I got to play with him and be in the same dugout as him and pinch run for him in a big league spring training game. So to see him do that, was uh, it was emotional for me. It was emotional for him. It was incredible to see Miguel Cabrera with his 3,000th hit has become the 33rd member of the 3,000 hit club. But it, it goes so much deeper than that. He is now the seventh person to have 3,000 hits and 500 plus home runs. Joining, listen to these names, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Rafael Palmero, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, Albert Pujols, and Eddie Murray. And now Miguel Cabrera. That is it in the history of Major League Baseball. Add on top of that, his career 300 batting average. Well, he's the third to ever do that. 3,000 hits, 500 plus homers, a career batting average over 300. And he has the highest batting average of all of those. Absolutely incredible. If you want to throw in his triple crown, well, then he's the only one to ever do it. Special. Very special. You know, Miguel Cabrera is not only one of the greatest to ever do it, but I learned a lot from watching him. And as a fan of the game, there's nobody better. There's nobody that, that has more fun playing the game that you can watch. You know, you watch him night in and night out, and he is just in love with the game of baseball. It is truly incredible. Add on top of that, his next level mindset. I will forever remember one of the first things that I, I had ever known from Miggy. I was hitting with him down underneath the cage in, in Comerica Park, and I was, what, 14, 15 years old, and we were talking about hitting. And he said, he knows what the pitcher is going to throw before the pitcher even knows what he's going to throw. He'll set pitchers up. He'll take a bad swing on a slider early in the game, knowing that the pitcher will go back to it later in the game when it matters the most, and he will destroy it. It's, it's the mentality. It's the, the fun that he has playing the game. It's how much he loves the game. It's how much he loves the city of Detroit in his post-game toast to the team. He made it about the fans. He made it about the city of Detroit. How incredible. How awesome it was to see a packed house in Comerica. Absolutely packed. You know, and then you really start thinking about it. And I was thinking about this yesterday, over the weekend, after he got his 3,000 pit. I, it needs to be known how big of a deal this is. We need to be making a bigger deal of this. This in my opinion, could be the last time that we ever see a player get to 3,000 hits. And then I, I was thinking about that, and then I really dove into it. There's a couple reasons I think that. The game of baseball is forever changed, at least the game as we know it right now. It's a different baseball game. Pitchers are dominant. Everybody's throwing 100 miles an hour. Hits, aren't, hits don't come as easily as they used to. It's just a different ball game. Then you start looking around the league as it is. Mike Trout, one of the greatest to ever do it, is almost 31 years old. He has 1,431 hits. I, look, if he stays healthy every single year and plays in, into his 40s, there's a chance. And then who else has a chance? Jose Altuve. He's 31 already. He has 1,783 hits. In my opinion... And those guys are eight, nine years away from even being able to accomplish that. So there's no way we see 3,000 hits again for almost a decade. And there's a very good chance that we never see it again. And who better, in my opinion, than for it to be from Miguel Cabrera? Going the other way, an opposite field hit. Because, of course, 
because of course it was. What an awesome moment. The congratulations he got from around the league was awesome to see. My brother with a, a video tribute from Minute Maid Park in Houston. Uh, I'm just sitting on my couch this whole time, like trying to fight back tears, watching Miggy get emotional, watching Jose Iglesias run over from the other team and give him the biggest hug in the world. What an awesome moment. And I had to start this show off with that. I had to start this show off with how special that moment was because he is a special player, but Miguel Cabrera is a special human being. I will never forget being around him in spring training. The joy that he had walking out of the clubhouse every single day. He would see me from across the field and made sure to say hi to me. It's that stuff that matters. The young players coming up through the organization, they would go out of their way just to get their eyes on him. He is an icon in the game of baseball. And when it comes to the young Venezuelan players that were coming up, he was, he was the greatest thing that they could ever see. And now he's doing this. Uh, a Hall of Fame, a surefire Hall of Fame career solidified. Congratulations to Miguel Cabrera on an amazing feat that we very well may never ever see again pretty cool oh conrad pretty special moment man so uh, one of where, the best. Where, where are we going to next yeah miggy's one of the best ambassadors that baseball might ever see we talk a lot about it but in our in our lifetime it's him and albert pujols the two best hitters that i think we've ever seen thanks for watching if you love flipping bats swinging 3-0 or just talking ball join us Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.